lot of the designs that are considered traditional now weren't considered traditional, you know, 50, 100 years ago. So I think the progression needs to be made. And I think with the work that I'm creating, um, it's pushing it in the direction of being progressive and actually um, sparking new ideas where it's more appealing to the upcoming generation. So you have this newer generation of younger weavers, you know, coming up from elementary and, you know, high school who never knew that um, Navajo weaving could be so um, intimate or be reflective of their personal experience as young people. And I think that's what's very appealing about my work is um, I can still hold true to the traditional roots in, in terms of my materials, my process, working on a traditional you know, Navajo loom, and then also preparing, pre preparing materials in a traditional way, but also having um, the final product be reflective of my personal you know, story as, as an, you know, a contemporary young woman growing up both on the reservation and then also in an urban setting in the city. One of the things I pride myself in um, was having a, you know, a really strict teacher within my mom. So she's the one who really um, taught me that um, you really have to pay attention to not only how your colors mesh with one another, but also how the overall piece is going to come out and how that affects um, the value of the, the piece once it's off the loom. In terms of being an artist in general, I've kind of tried to make a name for myself where I'm seen as not only a Navajo artist, but also an artist who can create work that appeals to um, you know, the Navajo weaving sense, but also to a contemporary and general artistic um, aesthetic qualities you know, within contemporary art. So I think that's one of the, the things that I can do is I can um, appeal to both sides of the spectrum, to both contemporary and traditional. I'm Melissa Cody. I am from Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm a fourth generation textile artist.